Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. Finding winning stocks in a tough environment. That's what we're going to talk about on this week's Screen of the Week with Kevin Matris, our top stock screener and head of the Research Wizard Division here at Zax.com. Well, you probably couldn't get any tougher of an environment right. to try to find winning stocks in, at least not in my lifetime. Right. So how do you go about doing it? Well, you know, for yesterday's roundtable, I was doing some research, and I wanted to, to do some research on all of the companies that had reported earnings, fourth quarter earnings, in the S&P. And uh, of the over 300 companies uh, that have already reported earnings as of last Friday, uh, I came to realize that 55% of them had beat expectations, where only 34% of those companies uh, had, uh, had missed expectations. The rest of the companies had come in line with expectations. But again, the, the thing that was startling is that a full 65% of those companies actually lost money, whereas only 32% of those companies saw any real growth. And the thing that was even more concerning is that a full 87% of those companies have already seen their earnings estimate revisions lowered for the current quarter that we are in. First of all, last Friday is the 6th of February that uh, Kevin referred to. Right. Um, that sounds pretty discouraging. It's very discouraging. But uh, the thing is, what, what I had uh, taken out of it is that if you can focus on the 20 to 30 percent of the winners uh, that are actually showing real growth, um, you can still find good winning long-term stocks. Now, I stress the word real growth potential because, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of companies out there that are going up for no other reason other than the fact that, you know, when they reported their earnings, they weren't the complete and utter disaster that everybody had hoped they were going to be. Mm -hmm. Perfect example is, you know, I saw a company in that list that had lost nearly 80% of its value over the last 52 weeks. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, the company though was able uh, to to post a surprise a seven percent surprise by losing a little bit less than what the street had been expecting um, and I think a lot of people are thinking oh this is a, this is a fantastic stock you know this company actually made a positive surprise but if you have a company that is is just doing nothing but hemorrhaging money and by by sheer chance or luck they decide they ended up not losing as much this is not the kind of company that you're going to want to fall in love with. And this is a real example because that company was counted amongst the 55% of companies that actually beat expectations, but they also are counted amongst the 87% of companies that are already witnessing lowered earnings estimates for the current quarter that we're in. So you really need to focus on the companies that are really showing growth and companies that are projected to be able to show growth in the future. That's a good point. So how then do you find the potential winners in well, all of this? Yeah, what, what I've been finding myself doing over and over again is to really try to separate the, um, you know, the good from the bad. And, uh, and there's really three things I've been focusing on. The first thing I really want to uh, make sure that these companies have is they have to have actual growth for the last quarter, and they actually have to have true growth for the whole of last year. Yes, things are tough out there, but the companies that can generate profits during these tough times, these are the kinds of companies that you want to stick with. The other thing I want to see is I need to see positive growth projections moving forward. Once again, you know, a lot of companies can go up in price only because, you know, they haven't turned out to be the catastrophe that people are thinking. But again, this is not the kind of growth I'm looking for. You need to have sustained growth, and there has to be a reason for these stocks to go up for any real extended meaningful period of time. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm looking for as well. And the other thing which I think is, is really crucial right now is you want to find companies that have low valuations, specifically low PEs. What's happening right now is in a tough environment, people aren't really ready to pay up for growth. People are very reluctant to pay for future growth. And you can see good stocks in a bad environment go down because people are unwilling to pay a high multiple for this growth in the future. So I think when times are tough, a lot of investors, even though they wouldn't characterize themselves as such, a lot of investors turn into value guys. 
My belief is if you're focusing on companies that have good growth rates and you're focusing on companies that have already seen their P.E. ratios beaten down, you've just taken away two potential downside pressures. And these are the kinds of companies that you're going to want to focus on. Now, this kind of screen can be done within Zax.com's free screener. Uh, so anybody who's watching this, you can try to implement these ideas on Zax.com. But you can also take this idea a step further with the research wizard, and you can then focus on those companies that are in the top 50% of the industries, or better yet, focus on those companies in the top 10% of the industries based on their average Zacks rank. Because what everybody should know is that a stock's price movement can be directly linked to the group that it's in. So if you're finding those good stocks in a good group, you've got the wind at your back. All right, give us an example of a stock that came through that screen, would you? Yeah, one of the stocks that came through this screen is a company called uh, Amid uh, hang on. Amidisis. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's ticker symbol AMED, and they are in the medical outpatient uh, home care industry, and they're a leading provider of home health care and nursing services. And if you look at this company, they came into the week with a Zach's rank of a number one, which is strong buy. They also have a 34.9% growth rate last year. So even during this tough time, one of the worst you know, times that we have had in, in recent memory, they were able to post a fantastic growth rate. They also showed a great growth rate last quarter. And again, that is one of the worst quarters we have seen on record as well, 17% growth rate. They are projecting a 28% growth rate this year, and their P.E. ratio is only 11.28, which is below the median for their industry, and it's also below the median for the market. So this stock looks very good. Do you own the stock? No, I don't. All right. Can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you are accessing this video outside of Zax.com, you'll want to get over to our homepage on Zax.com and scroll down until you see Kevin's brand new picture of himself there with the headline of the screen right next to it, and click on the headline, you'll be able to view a full text version of the screen that Kevin just described for us here in this video. And, you know, he uses the research wizard to achieve all of his screens. And if you want to learn more about that piece of software, powerful program, go to zax.com forward slash research wizard, and that'll give you the whole lowdown on that program and how it can be yours to use as well. With Kevin Matris and the screen of the week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.